Jonas from uh, Northampton, out in the great Bay State of Massachusetts, has arrived in Wickenburg, Arizona at Rancho de los Caballeros. My name's Dave Messersmith, and I've been here at least 28 years, and I make the trip by car every year, so I've made almost 62 trips across the country. And you consider I worked in California a couple years. And uh, Robert has brought his video equipment with him, and uh, we're going to show. Uh, a little video here of some of the finer points of tennis, some of the fundamental strokes and volleys and serve, and uh, hope we put a good product together here for you. Robert's, Robert's a good student. We've been working together over the last few days, and uh, really look forward to addressing all these issues in tennis. All right, and we're going to discuss, first of all, the ready position in tennis. I would say when you're coming up, you hit your approach shot or you're at the net, trying to seize the point at the net. Don't get too close to the net. Get about halfway in the box here. Get yourself in the bisecting angle to the ball so you'll be able to reach a lot of the balls that are gonna present problems for you up here. Notice in the ready position, I have the racket slightly tilted toward the left shoulder. This gives me a good quick start out to my backhand side. By the way, I'm going to be blocking these balls in the continental grip, putting a little bit of uh, karate chop on the ball, turning the shoulder, stepping out with the foot, punching the ball at the right point, which is about a foot and a half out in front of me. On the forehand side, you should naturally lay, lay, lay your wrist back on the forehand volley, step into the ball with your left foot. Try to time the racket, the step, and the ball so you're achieving a good early blocking motion out here. Do not take back swings at the net. You've got, to, you've got to stay extremely disciplined up here. Don't let your emotions get ahead of you. Try to, try to follow the ball off your opponent's strings. Get the ball as early as you can as far as sighting the ball, getting off the strings. Move to the spot. Never move laterally at the net. Always try to diagonally move forward. You should always be trying to volley these balls in this manner. So you're punching them deep out toward the baseline. Try to volley toward the baseline. Everybody needs a good deep volley into the corners. When you get a little bit uh, better at this volley, you can start picking off these little short angles, which are touch, I call them touch shots. But they're very difficult to implement at, at uh, pressure moments in the match, the touch shots. Notice the pectoral muscle here come in. My hand never got behind my peripheral vision. Always on the volley, keep the racket head out in front of you where you could see it peripherally. You see the, see the shoulder turn here and the racket move out in front of me and then timing my step to the ball. Once you make contact with the ball, you pretty much just give it a little bit of a follow through two or three inches and you're set to go. Get back into the next, next possible shot. Remember, just because you made that volley doesn't mean the ball's not coming back. You may have to readjust the angle, move your feet, get back into the position. It could take two volleys to win that point. Okay. All right, uh, one of your basic strokes that we cover, first of all, would be the forehand stroke. It's gonna be your weapon on the court. Hopefully you're gonna be hitting a lot more forehands than backhands. So you wanna establish a weapon whereby you can go after the points, put your opponent on the defensive uh, position. Put him on the defense. Usually it's the forehand that will take control of the point. It's the bread and butter shot in tennis. I'm going to describe a cross court forehand here because that's, that's the, really the bread and butter shot in the game. You can keep the forehand cross court all day. It forces your opponent to have to take a chance. And eventually they're going to have to hit their forehand down the line, which is the shorter distance being 78 feet versus 84 feet on the cross court. Plus, I've got the lowest part of the net to work with when I hit cross court. So, when you hit your when you hit your forehand, first of all, you want to be a couple of feet behind the baseline here. You're in the ready position, and you really want to be alert. As soon as your opponent's about to address the ball, you do a little bit of a hop like this. You see that quick little hop? This gets you moving quickly, and you can respond to that ball coming off 
uh, his or her strings quickly. So always assume you're going to have to do a fair amount of sprinting or running on that shot so you're prepared. As soon as I notice the ball's going toward my forehand side, my brain gets that message right away. This is a forehand. This is the first thing your brain has to, has to capture. Is it a forehand or a backhand? Make the decisions quickly in tennis. It's gonna get you to the ball quicker. You'll have more time to set up. Notice the racket immediately start to move back as the shoulders turn. I've noticed the forehand. Notice the weight has shifted to the right foot. I have not moved my right foot or my left foot. Yet the shoulders and racket are already positioned to hit a tennis ball. If need be, I could actually hit a ball right here. As I take this back and the shoulders turn, now I'm ready to push off my right foot here and start stepping across. That's the first explosive step in tennis. Notice the left hand stayed out to the side here in front of me for balance. Racket head is fairly high. I'm gonna to attempt to get a little bit of a extra back swing on my forehand so I can generate more racket head speed. Here comes the shot. I'm gonna race over to the ball, little steps, set up, and apply a nice, hopefully well-balanced forehand. We'll do it without the ball now. Here's the ready position. Robert has just hit a nice cross-court forehand. I begin my shoulder turn, begin moving, keeping my head very still, plant my right foot. This is where I've decided to make my stand. The ball is coming in. At the right time, I'm going to step out toward it and begin lowering the racket head, coming under the ball, leaving my head very still, continuing to watch that ball all the way and follow through. Notice on the follow through, the elbow is pointing right out at the net and my weight, you can see it's clearly shifted from the back foot to the front foot. Always attempt to hit all these shots in tennis with your weight. In tennis, the weight impels the ball. The more you play the game of tennis, the more you realize the importance of the weight coming into the shot to protect it from going out. It's a great control factor, the weight, racket, all moving together.